If you're going to have the attitude, skills, and plan to take a life if necessary, you should have those same skills to save a life. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Las Vegas, Nevada. This one is graphic, and so if you're squeamish at the sight of blood, please don't watch this video. Just hit the pause button, go on to another one. For the rest of us though, this video teaches us some important lessons in this officer-involved shooting about dealing with multiple threats, about communicating with your partners, and about having first aid skills and tools on you to save a life if possible, even in the midst of protecting yourself. Officers have been following the stolen Honda that's on the right side of your screen for a while. And when they try to pull him over, he runs away and they're about to bail out. And what we're gonna see here is a gunfight ensue because what's gonna happen as they bail out of the car and the action starts, you're gonna see the guy pull a gun here and fire it in the air once. He fires it back at the officers a couple of times. They're gonna come in and fire at him a bunch. Now we're gonna listen in on their body cams. There's a lot of foul language here. So, you know, viewer discretion advised, bunch of blood as well. We'll come back and learn some lessons in a minute. Okay. Oh, they're gonna run. Okay, that was really intense. Let's go back and learn some lessons on this one. I think the first one is how fast these deadly force encounters happen. And what we're gonna see here is as they bail out of the car, as the guy pulls a gun, he's gonna shoot it at least once in the air and the news story says he shoots it back at the officers multiple times as well. Clearly this guy is a deadly threat to himself and everyone around him. So as the officers bail out, they just see him shooting up in the air. He's gonna turn around and shoot at them. Clearly justified to shoot back at him at this point. Next, what we're gonna see here is the first officer is a training officer and he's brand new to the force and as he's backing up what you see is he backs up over that rock and almost goes over tea kettle there but thankfully he's able to pull it back in you got to be careful when you're backing up with a firearm because you can go on your behind real fast but thankfully he recovered pretty quick from there and so we don't really have any challenges with that just be careful when you're backing up with a firearm because you can go on your butt really really fast now this first body cam is his FTO his field training officer and the thing that I want to pay attention to here is this officer actually did run his gun out of ammo had to reload it I see that occasionally in law enforcement fights. Very seldom do we see it in CCW gunfights. But for law enforcement officers, it does happen occasionally. They do need to know how to do that. Do it rapidly. Get your gun back in the fight, back on target, and keep going. Now, as we go to the other officer's body cam here, we're going to see a couple things that I want to talk about as they were going. First of all, you see him come up. He's the trailing officer here. He's getting his gun on target as well. But I want to pay attention and recognize he's going to cross over his partner here and not dip his barrel. He's going to muzzle, put his muzzle right through the back of his F. FTO. And that's not something that we want to do on a regular basis. Yes, this is definitely a high stress environment, but you want to be careful with that because in that high stress environment, you might shoot somebody. 
But I do love here that when that threat appears to be ended, he goes over and assesses the other threat for this woman in the car. They actually found another gun in the car, so we don't know what the threat level is from her at this point, so they are checking out. Now, I do notice here that our officer as well did dip his muzzle when he went around this other officer, so in that moment, he recovered and recognized, oh man, I gotta watch my muzzle here. That's something that we definitely wanna do. Now, once the shooting is over, these guys are gonna come back, and what we're gonna recognize here as we go back to the other officer is he's saying, look, man, okay, so I gotta end the threat, and you heard the guy saying, man, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. They secure the weapon, get it away from him, that's smart. And now they got to start the life-saving stuff. Now, again, this is law enforcement. As a CCW holder, you probably just get out of there, get to safety, call 911. But these officers got to get him in cuffs first. That's exactly what they want to do. Make sure he doesn't have any other guns on him or anything like that. Now they're going to try to figure out, can I save this guy's life? And I love that this officer has his tourniquet on him. That's fantastic. I think that every self-defender should carry one, mostly for you and for your family, not for an assailant who's tried to hurt you. But in this case, these law enforcement officers, you know, they have a higher calling. And so he does that here. And I think that's great. And having first aid skills and first aid tools incredibly important like a tourniquet on you but you notice how bloody he's getting doing that man this is the reality of things folks and I would really recommend with your tourniquet there put a pair of gloves in there with that because you don't want to have hepatitis shots for a whole bunch of time because you don't know what you're going to get from this guy but you got to be able to not be revulsed at blood like this they finally get the tourniquet on correctly and start cranking it down and they saved this man's life doing it so not only having your your life-saving tools like your firearm on you but your life-saving tools like your tourniquet on you incredibly important all in all these officers put shots on target when they needed to they protected themselves and everyone around them they saved this man's life and they covered their asp thanks for watching today's active self-protection lesson i hope it helps you with your attitude your skills and your plan to keep you and your family safe if you'd like another lesson in a similar vein click right here to go see our most popular narrated videos if you like what you see and you don't want to miss them going forward please subscribe via the button right here and turn those notifications on so that you get notified every time a new active self-protection lesson posts.